Ruth, the kids are out, and what are we doing? Rearranging. Rearranging! Oh my goodness! We're gonna see how this works here. We just finished doing some big changes, but we still have more to do. Kids are coming up, and they're gonna see it for the first time. Hello, guys, welcome back. Welcome Whoa. back! Where is the TV? Right there! Hide and seek for the TV, where is it? Outside of <laughs> <laughs> They're not maybe in their room? Is it What is it? Found it! Sarah found it! It's in the closet! <laughs> How are you gonna watch it? No, whenever we want to watch it, we have to pull off the door so it's a lot harder. It's just not like you come in and turn it on. Isn't so this nice? Yes, it's so nice. Yeah, we have lots of space over here though, like don't we? House. I, mean, look I so know, huh? Oh, Rebecca's helping with the dinner tonight. Way to go, huh? What's for dinner tonight? Chicken Alfredo with corn in it. Chicken Alfredo with corn, how yummy. All right. Oh, all done! You guys scarf down dinner. Were you hungry? When it comes to living in small places, even the smallest change can make a big difference, especially when you compound good changes together. Mama Chan's organizing over here. Yeah. We've wanted our living area to feel more spacious and encourage interaction in the family. So we moved our Kotatsu table into the main living area and banished the television to the closet. At least until we find a better solution for it. The outcome, we hope, will strengthen our family. I've used a similar mentality for setting up my home office to encourage creativity and productivity, allowing me to minimize distractions and maximize focus. <laughs> One change can have a domino effect, causing multiple changes that create a healthier living environment. It looks like somebody's moving out. What's going on here? Well, two kids are moving out of one room and into the other, and the other two are moving out of that room and together. So we're doing a swap of room. Oh my goodness. Joshua and Sarah are going to sleep in here, and Beck and Anna are going to sleep in the other room. Oh my. Oh my. That's right. This. But just the opposite. This living room feels so much bigger like this. We got rid of the TV from over here. We put it in the closet over there, but in the closet doesn't work. So we've bought a stand for it and it's gonna swing out here. And I think it's gonna help us just make the most of our very little space for a big family. Look at the sunset over here today. Wow over the mountains. So, where are you guys going? And to the house. What's, how are you kicking off Golden Week? Movie. Movie, Movie night. And I have also okay. the surprise house of all do a sleepover. That's awesome. the not awesome. That's awesome. awesome. Are we having our special guy time? Yeah. Doing some curvy, huh? Yeah. Whoa. And we do allow Mama to at the special guy time. Yes. I make the pizza. She makes us pizza. We love her. <laughs> Look at this. Mama's homemade pizza. Yum! Did you see the mountains over there? Yeah. They're so clear. Is that awesome? Yeah. Wow. We should go over there? It would take at least an hour to get over there. What? Yeah. That's a long ways away over there, dude. Anyways. Okay. Golden Week is a series of consecutive national holidays in Japan, and this year we're using it to get our home reorganization projects done. Okay, I'm here at the door. We're about to see Beck and Anna's room. Whoa! Look at this, Becca. Check in the closet. Check in the closet? Yeah, I would, I would open this side. It's a closet desk again. Oh my it's a big goodness. One. It's big. Look. Look, I can barely step up in here. This is awesome. I can't even get the camera in there to show what it's like. Hang on. 
Whoa! Now I can block the way. <laughs> that is a good use of the space there. It is. Daddy, do you like to see my deck? Hey, come in. Okay, what do we have here now? Now we have Josh and Sarah's new room. Josh and Sarah's new room. Here it is. Very nice. Still in the process. Still in the process. <laughs> what do we have here? My own desk privacy. <laughs> Your own desk privacy, huh? Wow, that's pretty awesome. What a great place for that. Yes, the rug you made with Grandma, huh? <laughs> All right, dude, very nice, huh? Very nice. The next part of our project comes along. Guess what came in? The TV stand. Time for Mommy and Daddy to put it together and get that giant TV on it. All right, I got the stand done. It's all together. Now the big thing is getting the brackets in the back of the TV. And the even bigger thing is figuring out how to get this TV on the stand. All right, here we go. The new room, the new tatami room. We have this in here so people can come in and we just grab some chairs or watch on the floor. But when we all want to watch, we're going to wheel it out this way, face it out here so everyone can see. Nice for when we're watching. Then when we're done watching, wheel it back. Okay, we're heading out now, taking Sarah to her sleepover, and then we're going shopping, eating, and just having some golden day fun. Some golden weekday fun. Okay, where are we gonna go for dinner? Kurazushi. Kurazushi. Oh, look at that. That's different, that's cool. All right, our food is arriving. Salmon and onigiris and Anna got a ramen. Oh, not onigiri, yeah, you're right. Tuna roll. Tuna roll. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Da, 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 we just won the prize. What prize do we win? <laughs> oh, see? So, we have a new salmon lover in the family. And it's not Becca, although it's Becca's on her sixth plate. Yes. Here he is. Are you a salmon lover? Oh, yeah. All right, next stop, Nitori. What are we getting here today? For my camera. You have to do it. After dinner, it was time for some shopping. The girls were excited to get their room just right. Well, that was quite a successful day shopping. And now we get back home, get to relax a little bit, and enjoy our new home setup. Do you see the moon, dude? Pretty cool. Don't put it down, okay. Is it on the? Yes, it is on the rug. Okay. Ooh, guys. <laughs> you don't even need a bed. I know, it's so fluffy. <laughs> is it? Oh, walking in here now. Glorious and open. And look at the sunset tonight. Wow. This is exciting. I like our setup, Diana. Okay, let's see. What do we have? Whoa. Very nice. And I likes it light and I like it dark when I sleep. Oh, perfect. I love Did it. Did you see the, the, touch, the finishing touches? Very cute. Very nice. Look, Becca and Emma, we got a new gram. Yay. Scream. Ice cream. The next day we picked Sarah up from her sleepover and we all jumped in the car. We had a fun day planned with some good friends of ours in one of our favorite places for summertime fun. Golden Week traffic meant taking the back roads, but that was all right for the fun that was about to take place.
our whole apartment complex here has an English club and they asked us to speak and share about our family life in Japan. So I'm getting ready for this presentation tomorrow. I'm actually kind of excited about it. It'll be fun to get to meet different residents here and to share about our family life in Japan and perhaps this is something you'd like to have happen in your community. Who knows? Maybe it could be a possibility in the future. After such a big day, Sarah's cough acted up. So soon I was joined out in the living room as Ruth came out with Sarah to sleep upright on the couch. This couch gets a lot of use as Mama Chun's hospital. The next day came, and as everyone woke up, we got ready to enact the next phase of our apartment makeover, Outdoor Accents. Oh, no. oh, we had a bird up there. Got too close. Yeah, huh? Camera. Camera. Anna. Good morning, Anna. Anna. Yeah. Cough, cough. <laughs> Anna's up now. Anna understands. Anna understands. Anna. I understand one time. Good. Oh boy, Mama Chen. Oh, There's just a sea of options here. Now, a couple of planters of flowers would round out our apartment makeover. Oh look, we're filling up with things here. The girls are helping. All right, Daddy got a purchase too, didn't I, Becca? And it's pokey. Once we got home, it was time to make up our planners. Oh, some flowers are dead. They're no, they're not dead. They just need some water and soil. We're going to give them a nice place to live. And Love. God will take care of the rest. Becca really was a proponent for the grass. Oh, this is amazing. Can I feel it? <laughs> Starts with some gravel, huh? Some rocks on the bottom. So Becca said she's sure she doesn't want Daddy's help here for putting in the heavy soil. So let's see how she does. <laughs> Ooh. No, Anna could help. That might help you get it right where you need to go. <laughs> oh, teamwork makes the dream work. Soon, Mama Chun came to see how to divide everything up. Bring my other pot right here. So I want to divide these up. Now we need to water them all. That's right. Okay, here. Here. Okay, look. We're going to put some of this grass. Oh, it's so far away. Okay, hang on. No. Girl. There you go. This one I'm going to put. Pick that up. So this, that. I don't want those right next to each other. Now plant them where they're at. Okay. We're having a fun time making small positive changes. It is all these little details after all that make an apartment feel like a home. Mama Chen, you have some great helpers there, huh? Mm -hmm. Got them busy there while you're Ooh, making us lunch. Aww. So where's Joshua? Let's go find him. Where could he be? I found Joshua! <laughs> What's been one of the best changes you've made to your living space? Comment below and then enjoy another episode of Life in Japan.